because in the 20th century, one shape has ruled what we believe progress looks like, and it's this ever-rising line of GDP growth. Mm -hmm. And that's what economists talk about all the time. I think we need a new shape, a new compass, and yes, it looks like a donut with a hole in the middle. So in that hole in the middle, that's where people worldwide are falling short on life's essentials, where people don't have enough food, or healthcare, political voice, housing, education. So we want to get everybody in the world out of the hole, mm -hmm. into the donut. But, and it's a really big but, we can't overshoot the outer crust of this donut because there we put so much pressure on this extraordinary living planet, mm -hmm. we cause climate breakdown, we acidify the oceans, massive biodiversity loss. We begin to undermine the very living systems on which all of our well-being fundamentally depends. So the outer ring is where the environment is, is polluted, where we... Yeah, where overshooting we, our pressure. Okay, where yeah. we destroy the planet. Yeah. And the inner ring is where the social foundation is. Falling short. You don't yeah. want to go, go in that hole. Go in that so you, hole. Yeah. Because then you have no money and no food. Yeah. Right. So the shape of balance is no longer this ever-rising line. It's actually balance between meeting the needs of all within the means of the planet. It's a very different mindset for what progress looks like in the 21st century and mm. I think we need new economics if we're going to achieve it. Yes, so what you're actually saying is don't uh, look at growth as a, as, a, as a main issue, as a main value, yeah. but uh, look at human well-being, something yeah. like that? Yes, I think that's right and human well-being depends on meeting every person's needs within the means of the planet. And whether the economy, GDP, just part of the economy, is growing or not, that needs to become something that's in service to achieving this well-being for all. So 